Short number one, the hydrogen atom. The hydrogen atom is formed by an electron and a proton. The hydrogen atom is very small. This means that, due to the electrostatic attraction between the electron and the proton, the electron is spatially confined around the proton. Another very important property of the hydrogen atom is that it is very stable. This means an isolated hydrogen atom can last forever. This fact cannot be explained using classical theories of mechanics and electromagnetism. It was necessary to develop quantum mechanics for explaining the stability of atoms. These arguments suggest that a quantum particle confined in a small spatial region could be a crude model of a hydrogen atom. The simplest possible model of a hydrogen atom is called in quantum mechanics the one-dimensional infinite well. The electron is a quantum particle, therefore, there are two waves associated to it. One must solve the Schrodinger-like PPGP equation for finding the waves where the electron has total energy equal to Ea plus mc2 and the possible values of the electron kinetic energy in these waves. In the non-relativistic limit, the Schrodinger-like PPGP equation coincides with the well-known Schrodinger equation. After solving the Schrodinger-like PPGP equation for the one-dimensional infinite well, we obtain the following results. First, like the electron in the hydrogen atom, the waves where the electron has total energy equal to Ea plus mc2 are spatially localized. Second, like classical particles, the value of the kinetic energy of the electron in these waves is always positive. Third, there is a larger than zero minimum value of the kinetic energy of an electron in a wave with total energy Ea plus mc2. This explains the stability of the hydrogen atom because the electron cannot lose more energy if it is in the corresponding wave. Fourth, the possible values of the kinetic energy of the electron form a discrete set of positive values. This explains the discrete character of the spectral lines of the hydrogen atom. Fifth, the kinetic energy of the electron in a particular wave increases if the width of the well decreases. This means that highly spatially confined electrons have a large kinetic energy value. These results are strictly valid if the total energy of the electron is smaller than 2 mc2. Things get more complicated at higher energies. Fortunately, the experimental determined energies of the electron in the hydrogen atom are much smaller than mc2. The details of the results obtained by solving the Schrodinger-like PPGP equation for the one-dimensional infinite well can be found in a recently published book. This book, titled Relativistic and Non-Relativistic Quantum Mechanics, Both at Once, was published in September 2023 by Springer Nature, in the Undergraduate Lecture Notes in Physics book series. The book was written by Professor Luis Grave de Peralta and his collaborators from the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Texas Tech University, Lubbock, Texas, USA. This book is based on the use of the Poveda Poi Grave de Peralta PPGP, equations. In addition, the authors used the PPGP equations for illuminating discussions about the following topics. The frontiers between the classical and quantum worlds. How the interplay between quantum mechanics and relativity determines the existence of black holes. The observed asymmetry between matter and antimatter. A Spanish translation of this book is also available in Book Baby.